Hey, what is up, guys? Oblivious here, bringing you another Black Ops 2 video, and today is not a gameplay or a commentary. It's actually going to be a best class setup with any with a gun, and today I picked the Scar L, I think it's called, or it might be the H. I'm pretty sure it's the L in this game, and the H is in the uh, MW3, but that really doesn't matter. Uh, the gameplay is actually me getting a nuclear with the Scar L on um, Carrier, and I got this today, and I thought it was pretty good. I, I was like... I kind of got it, and I was like, oh, what should I do with this? Should I just do another, like, gameplay, like, this is a gameplay while I'm doing a commentary? Or should I actually, like, turn this into something? So I decided to do a Scar, or whatever, best class setup. Actually, three of the kills, as you just saw, were with the Peacekeeper with for this um, nuclear. So that was it, though, and you'll be seeing the rest of the gameplay as I talk about the actual class. So now, wasting no more time, we're going to talk about the actual class. So, first of all, of course, we have this, oh, it's actually the Scar H. I was incorrect, I apologize. It is the Scar H with silencer and adjustable stock, and I use the silencer to stay off the minimap, and I don't know, it just, I don't really feel like it makes a big da difference with the damage, even though it says it should, and the range is pretty much the same, at least I think it is. And the, um, the adjustable stock is for, I don't know, in other Call of Duties where they didn't have things like adjustable stock, like moving left and right with your gun just seemed like... It just seemed really slow, and I, I kind of need that just to move around quickly. I can, like, actually aim in and then move over. I don't have to aim in at the exact spot where I'm about to shoot. I can actually have some, like, choices. And I really recommend using, basically, a, an adjustable stock for any, like, uh, uh, assault rifle you use. Because, basically, them and, like, L basically everything other than uh, SMG. Because SMGs actually have a pretty good time for uh, swaying back and forth while aimed in. And the other guns don't, so that's basically why I use those two attachments. And then we have perk one. I always use kind of. I always use ghost. I know it's like, oh, you use ghost, you're so gay. But I mean, I I don't know. I just I really like ghost. I think it really helps me out, and I mean it does. So I'm just gonna keep using it because I like to stay off the mini map. Um. Then we have a wild card perk two greed, and we have toughness and scavenger. Scavenger, of course, is to get replenish ammo on streaks like this one. And toughness is just to when I get shot because I get I usually don't get like I usually don't like get into gun battles that I'm like perfectly not getting shot. I usually happen to get shot and I just like have to have that toughness to keep aiming sh like straighter than the other guy at least so I can kill him. The third perk I have dexterity so I can aim in quicker off sprinting because I'm always constantly sprinting and rushing get to the spawn and I need to be able to aim in quickly. Uh, I use C4 as my tactical grenade. Be just I'm. Mean, the tactical grenade, I think it's called, yeah. Just because, I mean, I just love C4. You just lob it around corners and stuff, get them easy kills, and it really helps to build up to your um, score streaks and just overall kill streak or gun streak. And tactical flash or concussion really doesn't matter. I think I was using concussion this game. Actually, I recommend using flash because it's hard to... I think, I don't really, I don't know. Sometimes concussions don't really work. I, at least I think they don't. I don't know. I got killed today on like a 28 because I realized that concussions and flashes last way too long in this game. But yeah, that's basically it. Now we're going to talk um, some strategies for another minute or two. And one thing I have to say real quick is this, uh, it wasn't a really quick nuclear, it was okay. It was like maybe four or three minutes, five-ish, something like that. Probably like about four minutes. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. And um, the strats, strategies I'm talking about are like, kind of like distances you want to use this gun. I recommend using um, this gun. It's actually pretty bad at long range. It, it's pretty it, like recoils a lot. So I definitely, I definitely recommend using medium to short range if you want to do it. Um, the silencer kind of takes off some of the damage at, at range too, but um, so that was kind of weird. Um, I recommend using this gun for like open maps, kind of like carrier, basically like the entire map, just like a big circle. And uh, if you're gonna, I don't know, you, if you're doing this in a map where it's not really open, you will not win gunfights if you're very close and you have to hit fire with this gun because the hit fire is not too good. It's not horrible, but it's not too good. So you kind of want it to be a wide open map, so you can just aim in and pick people off. And that's really it for the strategies. I mean, I mean, the gun's pretty good at overall. When it originally came, like half it, like the game came out, I didn't like it. Then they had a patch that made it really good, and everyone was using it. And I still used it. I did not like it. But then I just got back into it, and I tried it for a little bit. Unlocked the silencer, and I think this with the silencer, this gun is so much better. I don't know. I, th I also felt that way in MW3. So. That's just kind of my, I hope you guys want to use this class. If you really do, I recommend it because it is really, really good. And um, this is what I've been using a lot lately. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe. If you are new to the channel and haven't already subscribed, please like the video because that really, really, really helps out. If we could get like 
uh, five, no, no, let's get, like, try, let's go for ten likes this video, I, I asked for another video, I actually got it, and I was really happy about that, so that's all I have to say, and goodbye, guys.